Hello everybody, my name is Nick and you're watching for Elite unboxing video for the Canon Selfie uh, CP1300. Uh, basically what we have here is uh, the Canon's selfie printer, pretty much same as it comes out of the box, only difference is that uh, I plugged, it, uh, plugged the cable in and I already set up uh, uh, this bit here, this is a holder for the paper, pretty much uh, I can remove it still, uh, let's just do it carefully. I opened uh, one pack of papers and placed it uh, the Canon logo side downwards. Pretty much you just uh, open this, you unlatch this and you place it uh, here just snugly pushing it in. And that's pretty much all there is and on the, this side uh, we have the place for the cartridge, you just slide it in, as you can see, because of its shape, you cannot put it the wrong way around. On your phone, all that you need to do in order to print uh, from uh, your phone, basically, is to download this app, just uh, go in the Play Store and type in Canon Selfie, you'll find the app pretty easily. Then you go here and uh, connect to the Wi-Fi which it will say on the screen when you select it. It's in my case Selfie CP1300, it's probably in all the cases and that's pretty much it, you are done. Then when you want to uh, print, it's actually pretty easy. Uh, let's print this photo, next, print. It will need to pair with the printer, it does take a bit sometimes, but uh, yeah, it's already printing. Now it does take it a bit to print and it is a bit loud, but uh, then again you need to take into account that uh, you're actually not uh, going to the uh, print shop and uh, wasting your time going there and waiting uh, for it to print. It might uh, look a little bit slow now. Uh, when you look at it, but uh, you really need to take into account that it's not just a regular print, but uh, rather it's on the actual photo paper, and that's why it does need a bit of time. Uh, b uh, first, obviously, yellow, magenta, then it will go the blue one, and then there is a final coating over it uh, for it to stay uh, to protect it if I were to touch it right now. I would smash the photo, but instead I will wait a little bit uh, for it to do its next coat and now it uh, is pretty much finished. Now it's uh, doing this protective coat and yeah, as you can see I can touch the photo and there is no smudging the image. And uh, now all I need to do in order to finish the photo is to clamp this off and yeah that's pretty much it it's uh, done this is all uh, one other photo that I uh, printed uh, using this printer now it uh, does give you a quite, uh, quite a good image uh, I really like the way it looks it's a good quality it's actually pretty much the same as if you took it to the shop and had it uh, printed. Only thing is it's a bit smaller format, so who is this for? Who is this printer for basically? Uh, well, if you uh, do want to have a just printer at uh, home, uh, this is a good option, it's uh, reasonably priced. Uh, printing paper and uh, sheets are reasonably priced as well. Now. Uh, this is going to be primarily used by, uh, so to say, uh, soccer moms uh, who want to have uh, photos of their children uh, printed right away and uh, that's a good thing. Also, if you just don't want to bother for some photos, 
to go to print shop and have somebody else print it for you you can just do it at home that's uh, also uh, one uh, advantage of this but also as a way to have a uh, ability to present your photos right on the field uh, it is a bit smaller format yes I do give you that but uh, uh, sort of as a preview definitely a good idea it's a bit different uh, having the physical photo in your hand than uh, showing it on the screen of your camera and that's definitely a big advantage of having uh, this on the field even though yes it is a smaller format but it's uh, still good enough you're watching Photolit. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Until the next time, goodbye.